Hello everyone. So, how are you doing? Um, I hope well. So, today it's a Pilates workout and it's going to be really easy going, okay? It's more of a stretching than really like an intense class, okay? So, okay, let's go. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk about the exercises. As we go, as we do in the exercise, I'll show you what to do, okay? So, let's start with a cat stretch. So basically, just get your hands right under your wrists and your knees right under your hips, okay? Don't lock your elbows, just keep them loose. Get your spine into neutral, okay? And from here, you're going to inhale, side and back, okay? And exhale, just think about your belly button going up and you start imprinting going up, 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 up like a cat stretching, okay? Inhale up here. And then exhale, slowly bring your tailbone one vertebra at a time until you're neutral. And here we go again. Inhale, keep it neutral. Exhale, start imprinting and go. First tail and then one vertebra at a time. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale up. Exhale, slowly bring your tail one vertebra at a time back into your neutral position. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Belly button against the spine and go up, 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 up. Inhale up. And exhale. Slowly bring it back down. One last time. Here we go. Really breathe deep, okay? Exhale, go up. Inhale, up. And slowly bring your tailbone into neutral and the rest of your spine, one vertebra at the time, to neutral. And go back. Bring it 
back in one more time and out. This is amazing for working your hips and creating really like the awareness of the movement, okay? On your socket, on that articulation. One last time, reach, turn it in, and bring it back in. Now we're gonna do with the other leg the opposite. Instead of going outside, we're going internal rotation. And then bring it out, knee out, and in. And turn in, reach. Always reach to take all the tension on your articulation in the hips, okay? And in, reach, reach, reach. Turn it out. And bring it in, and again, turn it in and reach, turn it out, bring it in, and one last time, and in, reach out, turn it, and bring it in, let's go to the other side, turn it in, reach, out, bring it out, and in, again, and in. Reach, reach, reach really far. Turn, in, and out. Two more. Feel the rotation happening right inside your femur and then bring it out, out, and center. Creating that connection between your mind and your body, giving the right orders. Turn it out and bring it in. And that's it, perfect. Now we're going to arm circle. So from inhaling in neutral, you're going to exhale, connect and shorten the space between your hips and your ribs. Bring one leg 90 degrees, and then the other one 90 degrees. Belly button against the spine always, arms to the side. Now, bring your arms to the ceiling and go. Inhale as you go out, keep your ribcage engaged, and circle, and bring it in. And again, inhale, exhale as you bring your arms back, and in. As you go back, and X on the side, and again, and in, and out. Reach, reach with your fingers. Always long, long, long rib cages engage. Belly buttons against the spine. You breathe in, you expand your rib cage to the sides and back and not into the front. Okay, here we go. One more and reach. And go. Now we're going to the opposite and go open. And bring it in, and that's it. Always reaching, 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 and up. There we go. And in, and X, and in. Think about 
Rock belly button against the spine. Your arms really close to your ears. And that's it. And here we go. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chin to chest. And reach. Flex, 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 flex your toes. And then you have the stretch in your lower back and on end strings. And then bring it in. Duck, 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 duck. Slowly belly button against the spine. And again. And arms up. Exhale, chin to your chest. And reach, reach, reach. And bring it back. And down, 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 down. If you're having problems with coming up and lifting your legs, get a towel and your lower back. It's gonna help you to come up and control it. It's gonna give feedback to your body to really allow you to come up. And arms up. Exhale and reach, reach, reach. And bring it back down. Always controlling, always thinking about one vertebrae at a time. Last time. And up. Chin to your chest. And reach. And bring it back down. Slowly control, 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 control. And down. And let's do one more for spine. Spine rotation that I absolutely love. I'm gonna try to put myself a little bit more in this angle. Okay, so get your arm under your head, okay? Get your feet, your knees together. Be careful because the tendency is gonna to be to have your hips out here. So you wanna bring your hip and bring one hip on top of the other, knee on top of the knee, okay? Ankle on top of ankle. Now, you're gonna have a little, like if you have a little lantern, you can see light here. Okay, if you like that, that means you're not engaging your abs. So engage your abs. Okay, but relax your shoulders. Arms are going to be in front of you. And then from here, you're going to inhale. Bring your arm to the ceiling and your head is looking at your hand. As you exhale, think about your ribcage starting to do the motion. Ribcage, okay? And your arm is following the movement from your ribcage. Inhale up there. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it up and down. Here we go. One more time. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stay. Exhale, reach deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. Be aware with one thing. Arm up. And then you side Rotation. And you start doing like this. I see a lot of clients doing that, okay? So that is not a rotation, that's my arm and that's actually putting a lot of stress on my shoulder. So keep it aligned with your spine. And your, like I said, the movement is from your rib cage, rib cage, rib cage, okay? And then you're really doing the rotation of your spine. All right, let's go to the other side. Okay, and you can see me. Here we go. Again, remember, hip on top of rib, 90 degrees angle with your knee, okay? And then arm in front of you. Remember, engage your abs. And from here, you're going to inhale, arm up, look at your hand. Shoulder, be careful that the shoulder is not here. Bring your shoulder away from your ears. Exhale, start with your rib cage, start going, 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 going. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale to the ceiling, exhale, bring it back down. One more time. Inhale, up, exhale, reach. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, center, exhale, down. One more. Inhale, arm up, exhale, reach. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, center. Bring back down one last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach. Inhale, stay. Exhale, go deeper. Inhale, center. Exhale, down. And relax. Okay, so let's just do one 
more. Put myself right there. Let's go. Leg to the side. Oh, my legs. There was a time where there was a split here, but oh well. <laughs> okay, now what I want you to do is sit right on top of your seat bones, okay? Those little bones on your butt, okay? Now, what I'm going to tell you is instead of pointing your feet, you're going to flex, and that is going to give you more stretch on the posterior chain. From here, you're going to bring your arms up, bring your chest up, but close your ribcage. I know it's a lot of information, but <laughs> I have to give it to you. And then slowly we're doing one thing at a time, okay? Shoulders away from your ears. Reach with your hands, okay? Now, from here, you're going to inhale. As you exhale, you're going to turn to your leg. That's it. Inhale, stay. Now, you're going to do a little uh, flexion towards your knee with your torso. So you go like these. Like you want your head to go to your knee. And then you bring one vertebra at a time up and go to the center. Inhale. Exhale. Turn to the other leg. Inhale. Stay. Exhale. Go, 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 go. Slow into a curve. Like if you have a ball in, on, on your stomach and you want to reach. Okay? Don't flatten. Just reach. And bring back up. And go to the center. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Turn. Reach with your hands. Okay? Always reach out there. Then exhale. Go into a curve. Go, 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 go. Stretch. And bring you back up and turn one last time. Inhale. Exhale. Turn and grow. Okay, always growing up there. Grow, 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 grow. Okay? Now go into a collection. And bring you back up and turn and relax. I know you're going to be like, oh, yo, yo, my flexors, my hip flexors. I know, relax. <laughs> It's okay. Okay, last one. Okay, last one. Leg in front of you. Okay, sitting on top of your seat bones. Turn your glutes, please. Don't be like, okay, just up there. <laughs> Everything turned on. Okay, arms to the side. Now bring the arms front. That's it. Now, I'm going to turn the side. If you're sitting here and it's really hard, because it can happen that you're here, okay, like, oh, it's hard. Then, again, you have to use what you can until we get the power to get up there. So you can always do something like these, or go get some books or something, okay? And sit like that, okay? Much easier, less tension, but you still can do things and you are giving the feedback to your body that that's where you want to be, okay? So from here, bring your arms in front of you and bring it up. When you bring your arms up, attention with your shoulders, attention with your rib cage. It's going to go like these, okay? So close your rib cage. Think about really growing tall. From here, inhale. As you exhale, you're going to reach out, reach out. It's not round. It's reach high, okay? It's like you want to be flat up there, okay? So it's a very tiny motion. Inhale. Exhale. Go, 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 go. Very tiny, but it's going to get you right there, right internal um, stretching. So stay there. And then bring back. And then you're going to do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Go, go, go. All right. Now from here, yeah, do a curve. All right. Inhale here. Exhale, bring it back up. One verb at a time. Let's go do one more time this one and then I finish. So inhale. Exhale, reach, reach out, 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 reach. Keep your arms really close, your close by your ears. Reach, reach, reach. Now go round. Round. And then come up one vertebrae at a time and try to be tall, 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 shoulders away from the ears, really tall. 
And from here, just look to the right and center. To the left and center. One more time. Right, center, left, center, and that's it. All right. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're feeling your body like, oh, feels better, so much better because now I can move and, you know, feel better because that was really the objective, was to really wake up everything, just stretch, and then you're ready tomorrow to work out or to rest one day, two days max, because then you should just uh, go again, okay? <laughs> but resting is important. It's definitely important to, to improvement, okay? So, be healthy. Love you guys. Bye-bye.